scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let us be careful so that we don't clap for ourselves too early. Our children will edit our scripts. Our assignment is not to do everything. But our assignment is not to stop what God is doing because of our biases and our prejudices. I truly believe with all my heart that God allowed his majesty to come and a judges and people scattered here to be able to teach you something about this message. Remember what I have said. When it is the ministry of prayer, if you say you are a businessman, you spoke nonsense. Because a businessman is first a priest before a king. Are we together? When it has to do with the worship of the king, all of us bow. Even Nebuchadnezzar was smarter, he knew. He said, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, I don't care who you are, bow to that image. The highest royalty, I cast my crown before the highest royalty so there is a meeting point where businessmen apostles prophets teachers are we together professors presidents governments heads of corporations billionaires in all kinds of currency there is a central point of convergence that is before the king when we come before the king you don't come as a professor <clears throat> That's why you take your golden crown. Your crown, your crown defines your jurisdiction of dominion. You take it because it does not matter again. When you are before the king, you cannot be a king. Mm -mm. Are we together? So you are a king in the judiciary. You are a king in business. You are a king even in the practice of priesthood. But when we stand before him, I don't want to know who you are again. There is only one that commands our attention. So we cast our crowns before, hold on. Your first assignment is to have a crown. Your real worship is not your falling down. Your real worship is that your crown worships first. So by the time you stand before him without a crown, he says, what happened? I said, you are kings. Where is the crown for being an influential person in the judiciary? There's nothing to cast. Esther, where is your crown? The anointing didn't come for you to heal the sick. It came to take you to the palace. Esther, you, there is a roll call of worship in heaven. I do not see the crown of Esther. So when we stand to worship him, Elijah stands with his prophetic crown. Daniel stands with his governmental crown. Joseph stands with his economic crown. Are we together? Ruth, Naomi, all of them. And together, we cast our crowns before. Now you understand the song. The highest royalty. I am undone before. Your glorious majesty. He's the King of kings and lords of lords. You are the King. 
of kings. Listen, you understand the song now? When you are getting your crown, it is because one day you will cast it before him. So when you stand before him, you will say, I am a professor. Lord, I did well. I stood to represent your purposes in the educational sector, but I am still a priest. So as Elijah kneels down, the professor kneels too. The doctor kneels too. I have become a consultant surgeon. Through my expertise, I have set up hospitals today. And by the privilege of God's grace, I have advanced the purposes of the kingdom. Oh king, here is my report. The king bows to the king of kings. That's what Daniel saw. Daniel did not see weak men. Read the vision of Daniel. Daniel saw kings bowing to the king. I look forward to the time in Africa when presidents will take their crown on behalf of their nations and kneel down and say, this is to you, the king of the ages. Not from a standpoint of fanatism. Let me tell you this. Your worship is not complete if your crown is not on the ground. Your worship is not complete if you failed in your assignment to discover the place of your crown. No. If you are a man of God, your assignment is to wait upon God in fasting, prayer, consecration, to build the kind of power now god will grant you access to the minds of people and you guide and mentor them when i worship the lord i cast my crown ministerial crown that is my jurisdiction i cast it with honor if africa has only business people we're in trouble joseph alone cannot do the job daniel alone cannot do the job if there are only elijah's and jeremiah's we're in trouble in fact, if Jesus does not have a treasurer and finances, a man who is only having an assignment for three years, yet he had regard for finances. Please hear me. The revival's past failed because the individuals who became the frontliner of that revival, they were unilateral in their thinking. And they did not capture the other dimensions you will read about the revival's past and you will hear that when other people rose with other dimensions the ones who were currently on fought them because they said i it is only the pattern given to me and it's a mistake that is repeating itself again in africa you see the spirit of the apostolic and the prophetic empowers you to read the writings on the wall so that you can guide god's people holistically when we challenge the body to be united, we are not saying we should be uniform. No, uniformity is not unity. Unity is a sense of appreciation that Esther plus Elijah plus Jeremiah plus Abraham plus Moses, are we together? Plus Joseph plus Mary plus Joseph of Arimathea, in fact, plus David, it is all of them together that equal Jesus so if your theology says Elijah equal to Jesus it is wrong Elijah equal to a dimension of Jesus you are right if your theology says Joseph equal Jesus you are wrong every one of them were manifesting dimensions that were holistically captured in Jesus you are a man of God here we need to trust God for grace to return back and check our mentorship structure. But I can tell you, the fire of a revival is brewing. I have said this for many years. I have seen it many times in my visions and it is consistent with God's end time prophetic blueprint for the nation. There are many young people who are rising, but the only ones who are celebrating right now are preachers. That means it will make other people who are not in the preaching dimension to feel that they are not part of it now the same way there are young men and women rising apostolically and prophetically in nigeria 
you will start seeing a parallel in the business line you write it down you will see young men who will arise people who will be summoned by the economic powers of the land to vex them and say by what technology are you accessing the riches of the earth and they will be as spiritual and you are going to see people who will rise up supposedly from nowhere are we together now and elections in their various places their various regions what level they will win it with a landslide victory to the point that you will say but it looks like we are rewriting politics because the hand of god is the one behind what we are seeing oh, oh, oh. Oh 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 when I began my training with God by reason of my background and at that time it was a moment where God was beginning to do great things and to build people as it is with God when he starts out with people it was just fasting prayer consecration the word are we together visions of revival but when I had the vision that represented my mandate, it confused me for many years. Because in that vision, I saw a generation of people, I've shared it with you many times, you've heard it, that it was a generation of people and they were crying. And in that vision, I came, I was upstairs, a building, hiding from people who were maybe wanted to injure me or something like that. And when I looked at the people, those in front were zoomed to me. And they said, I asked them what is wrong. And I remember them saying, no food and no water. And I said, ah, ah, no food and no water. How does that relate to spirituality? And then I said, who is the cause? And they pointed to me. I said, me, I can't be that wicked to do this to you. And then I said, okay, I'm coming to help you. Where would I get the food and water? I opened that door and it was not a chef I saw. When I opened that door to go out, I said, if I perish, I perish. I saw an old, bearded, gray-headed man. Now I know he's the Holy Spirit. And he held my tiny hands to go and serve food and water. Do you need a chef or you need an old man? hear me there are some of you today by reason of this teaching if you want to be effective go back to school while we are praying be praying too but go back and get your PhD and your professorship because your assignment it may not be for everybody but for you there is a place you have left where destiny has been crying. Who should occupy this position? You are here joining us in prayer. We don't need to have a PhD. We don't need to be professors. We have found solace in priesthood. But we'll be wicked to tell you don't do yours. Esther, don't look for a man of God alone. Look for Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins. He is the authorized mentor to train you. If he's a hazardous, that you want to sit near it will take more than Mordecai is there as a man of God but in addition to Mordecai look for Haggai he's the one who trains the keepers the women who are with the king no matter how Mordecai loves you he cannot give you the training of royalty because Mordecai sits at the gate he's an intercessor he's the one who will caution you but he's not the one who will make you queen Ruth, if you want to leave your assignment, obtain grace from God and don't run away from Naomi when you see her. 
because if you run away from Naomi looking for Elijah you will never see Boaz the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope Elijah if you know you are called to be a prophet you better look for Elijah even when Daniel calls you don't go your destiny is with Elijah don't make the mistake of leaving Elijah to be trained by Daniel Daniel cannot make Elisha to carry the double portion of Elijah's mantle Is someone learning? Dear businessman, do not think less of your passion to have financial resources for kingdom advance. Provided your heart is right and it's not a search for mundane carnal acquisition of things. But hear me. I give you a precaution and I give you a warning. Every time the king calls, whether you are Elijah, whether you are Daniel, whether you are Anna the prophetess, the position is to take off your crown from everywhere. Whether you are in government house, in the research institute, you are here standing like me preaching, or you are someone leading a leadership institute, you are a justice, or you are whoever. The moment there is the clarion call of the king together. They teach us in social studies um, government nationalism and all kinds of courses that anywhere you are when you hear the national anthem of your nation what did they teach that you do that you stand where you are because the moment the national anthem comes you are no longer a professor you are no longer a banker you are no longer a doctor you are the citizen of that nation when you see an american person or a british i can't remember which of the nation we traveled to and i was on my way returning i think that was last year and then i noticed everybody was standing at the airport i said what's happening they said they're about to sing the national anthem i said oh wow i'm not a nationality of that nation but i had to stand to respect their honor so when the master says believe us fast he didn't tell men of god he told all of us when he says believers seek my face he's not speaking to a man of god are we together one thing that happened to everybody was that it was their relationship with god that caused them to excel ruth if you leave god boaz will look at you like a village girl who needs help and never be able to marry you Elijah, if you leave God, you will be one of those prophets. Maybe a false one. Joseph, if you leave God, you will remain in prison there. Even if you come out of prison, you will go back home, not the throne. The factor that does not change is Jesus Christ and his purposes. This is sound doctrine. This is discipleship that turns members to ambassadors let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen god is tired of church members i don't say that to mean membership is wrong you understand the context god is tired of membership who are like sheep, respectfully speaking without direction and anything the man there are many believers who are confused in their spiritual adventure the reason why many people are living the faith life is because there is no excitement and purpose connected to it now when you come for koinonia every week as i am teaching you there is purpose connected to what i'm telling you when i teach you on finances i will teach with the same passion as when i'm teaching on fasting and prayer because in my economy there is no difference provided it is a tool that reveals jesus i will teach it with the same passion there are some of you here when we are talking of prayer and fasting you listen when we are talking of revival you are happy but when we are talking of influence principles of territorial you know kingdom advancement you just shut down and say Kai, this is not what i want to hear it's a mistake it's a mistake you must embrace the whole counsel of god there is the area of emphasis forever i'm a man of god that is my assignment if you see me talk 
among business people is an elective if you see me talk among politicians and the rest my core assignment is here ah, and I'll be a true soldier I'll do as it beats me whatever the cost I'll be a true soldier We spend ourselves and wear ourselves because we have come to find out that he is more than life. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, 6, 6.30, I'm out of this city again, preaching for Baba Wale Oke in Ibadan. By night, I'm on my way to Lagos, returning back, then Cote d'Ivoire. Why am I doing this? It's more than fame. If it's fame, writing a book is cheaper than stretching yourself. Please look at me. I want you to look up to us as we follow Jesus sincerely. But as you look up to us, you better be honest to find out whether if you are Esther, thank God for Mordecai, but please find Haggai. If you are Elisha, even if you find Moses, look for Elijah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There are business people who are being mentored by prophets. You will be a prayer warrior, not an economic giant. Respect the prayer warrior, but find a sound financial mentor with a kingdom dimension who will teach you the economic system of the cosmos while you honor the prophet. You are truly trained by the one who helps you become. Are we together? There are people here by reason of your assignment. God is subjecting you to high level influence and exposure. I'm not teaching you dishonor. The truth is that sometimes we men of God, by reason of our assignment, God may not have to expose us that much. But your own assignment requires that you understand the ethics of royalty you understand the ethics of culture and how to navigate yourself if you are mentored only by the man of god teaching you on stage you will fail when you stand before kings in addition to what mordecai does it is Haggai who will teach you what the king wants and Haggai said let me teach you something he told us something mordecai never told her he said when it has to do with ahasuerus i have worked with him I know what he wants take this oil let me teach you what the king wants rub this oil for one year when Daniel went to Babylon it was not Bible study they were teaching them there they taught them the way of the Babylonians is it in your Bible the anointing he had from priesthood empowered him to be ten times better but what exalted him was his ability to solve real-life problems This is what the Spirit of God has been telling me. I have a responsibility to contribute my own quota with love, no sense of self-righteousness or justification to charge the body of Christ. Pastors, men of God, we need to trust God for grace to unashamedly begin to embrace an authentic apostolic and prophetic structure that will host the revival coming and to preserve it for generations unborn. May God forbid that if Christ tarries and we no longer are here, somebody will be teaching one day and say, see where apostle got it wrong. He taught you to just pray and fast, but he taught you to reject influence. So Esther did not go to the palace and her man's plot found its way. It is amazing that when God wanted to deal with her man, it was not Haggai he called. He called Esther. There are many dimensions of the victory of Christ that is not men of God who will produce. There is a dimension of wickedness. Look up, please. As anointed as we are, men of God, has this solved Boko Haram problem? Please talk to me. Are we not praying? Are we not fasting? Has it solved the problem of terrorists and bandits and the rest? We continue to pray. But it will take more than that. That should be a lesson to us. As far as prayer is concerned, 
as far as fasting is concerned as far as communicating sound doctrine is concerned but when we have a judge who is anointed are we together by the time there is a case somewhere and there is a threat against the program of God because that person has had the legal qualification plus the anointing that has come from the man of God now you can defend not only the purposes of, of, of Christians but the purposes of, of a civil life a life of excellence and dignity a man of God can be anointed to go for a crusade but one airline that will face financial bankruptcy can stop the person that's it a man of god can be anointed to go somewhere but a poor image of a nation can make the person to be thrown back from that nation return back to your country we need to understand the holistic implication of this you can be anointed without a passport and a visa you will not travel to go and preach anywhere and if the person who is responsible for the passport and the visa is under the influence of a demon spirit your ministry will die a natural death are we together no matter how anointed you are as a man of god is it not the givings of god's people that will help you build the house for god if the people are not empowered and then you now ask them to give is fraud hallelujah going to pray worshipers arise businessmen arise apostles arise prophets arise captains of industry arise territorial mentors capacity builders arise royalties arise footballers arise athletes arise music ministers arise doctors arise for god's sake tech giants arise manufacturers arise producers beyond oil arise that is the name and that is the formation of the army that will return christ when it is time to fast everyone fast like you are a man of god when it is time to pray pray like the only thing in your destiny is the prophetic but when it's time to go through that distribution the geography of your weakness take back your crown put it on your head and stand like the champion that you are we will not call you a prayer warrior when we see you on TV we will call you the consultant surgeon the one recognized by United Nations but when you come to my office and I meet you after we talk about UN, we talk about Jesus. And then we pray. And I will impart more grace upon you. And you will return back, not as a religious fanatic, with a greater sense of intelligence. This is the vision, even behind the school of ministry. The school of ministry does not raise men of God alone. The school of ministry will raise men that will be used by God in every strata of human activities i made up my mind that as far as i'm concerned i will never raise a people by the grace of god who are only spiritually vibrant when you sit in the midst of politicians know that it is ministry i'm doing there and i don't have to be mentioning jesus i can help and will talk and say okay why don't we do this this way this way if I am confused, I know what to do. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. We have an advantage. Are we together? If you have headache, pray 
and fast. If it remains, go and look for a doctor. Doctor, you are anointed. Don't die the death of a fool because of pride. Meet a doctor who will just give you a prescription. When you are healthy, you can now keep serving God while you are growing. There are many people who are so fanatical about their positions. A simple drug that would have solved their problem. They would rather stay and say, no, I know, I am this. The word is working for me. I'm not a fanatic. Listen, listen, let me tell you. I believe in the power of God's word. You know it with all my trips and schedules. If I'm lying about this thing, you will know. Believe me, I say it without pride. There are many people, if you do one tenth of what I'm doing, you collapse in one week. I leave this place now maybe around 1, 2 and by 5.30 I'm on my way to the airport preaching two sessions for Baba Wale. Okay, I return back, have a meeting and the next thing I'm in Abidjan preaching every day until Saturday and we're already preparing for all of this. There are things you cannot fake. If it's not at work in you, it will show. However, however, I am not stupid. There are doctors here who have given me in intelligent medical recommendations and I embraced it with wisdom are we together guide me on the kind of food to eat there are some of you by this service from here go to a chemist before you go home because you are not feeling fine don't die the death of a fool I'm sorry I'm talk this this is I, I hope I'm not forgive me yeah please There are some of you here, the only thing in your world is money. Repent. Come and meet us. Let us balance the other side because this, your pursuing money is leading you to trouble. You need to come and even take a, maybe a three weeks break. No talk of money so that you fan your flames again. That's why God kept us here. But there are some of you, God brought you to stay one month and be on fire and then go back and continue. But you have built a camp here. You are not Elisha. Go back. Are we together? Kingdom financiers, we will need you when all the projects begin. So while we pray for you, keep learning the wisdom of Egypt. And when God empowers you, don't use the gold in Egypt to build an idol in the wilderness keep it it is for the tabernacle not for the idol Joseph even though Pharaoh will promote you you will marry the daughter of, per of Potiphar the priest of On they will change your name do not forget that even though you are carrying an Egyptian name you are a covenant child. Never forget. Daniel, you will sit in the midst of a parliament where almost nobody loves the Lord. Never forget that it was your prayer that preserved you. So while you provide national solutions, every time you stop and you're hooked somewhere, look beyond the intellectual realm. Go back. The secret is still being revealed. The Holy Spirit is still alive. Hallelujah. Worship us. Please keep writing the songs. Because there are still Moabites who will try to walk against Judah. And there are times our swords will not be able to fight. Make sure when we need to win by worship, the songs should be ready. Are we together? Joseph of Arimathea, keep doing your real estate. That grave you bought will preserve something one day. The man who owns a donkey that you have not been told to ride, don't feel bad. It is Jesus who will ride on the donkey. So take care of the donkey like Mary took care of Jesus. Go to the street that divides and you will see a colt that no man has ridden on. Lose it. And if they ask you, say the master has need of it. There are people who will set up billion businesses and yet one naira from it will not be for them. That is a cold that you yourself, the owner, is not allowed to enjoy because every time the master asks for it, 
there is a crusade that needs 10 million instead of fasting and praying for money you fast and pray and say lord bring people because one kingdom financier says consider it done this talk of money that has mad the integrity of the church we have to kick that thing out there are intelligent people who accessing the wisdom of the spirit plus the anointing that comes from the holy spirit through priesthood can have what it takes to command the wealth of nations Believe me, I, it is an insult to redemption to call for a prayer and fasting for weeks and the only thing is, oh God, visit us. We need financial resources. No, there are better things. When you fast and pray for a soul, there are many things we are fasting and praying for that is unnecessary. Money can solve it. You know I'm not lying. Oh God, this rent. And God says, my dear daughter, remember you rolled on the ground and told me i can use you there is a man of god somewhere who is about to lose the faith for the sake of the one thousand people there go and build him a house by the time you go there and say sir here is a key the key to this house the lord asked me to build it the question is among two of you who is a witness both of you if we say clap for who is walking most people will clap for the man of God and forget that the man of God would have plunged to depression and died and 1,000 members would have gotten into I was going to travel to Kenya and my passport was in another embassy I was almost going to miss that conference can you imagine hallelujah and thank God for people here one to one to contacting people at the highest level and they pulled out my passport and I was able to get there. That nation was blessed, not because a man was anointed alone, but somebody else was doing his job somewhere too. Are we together? I may be as anointed as you say and consider, but I'm not the, the pilot who flies myself tomorrow. By the grace of God, people will be blessed and healed and delivered all through this week. But how about the pilot who flies the plane? How about the person who cooks to eat? If you hear that I died for hunger, is that, is that a wise reason to die? I wasn't my tired though. Just hunger. Are we together? We're, we're about to pray. What of the cloth I'm wearing? As anointed as I am, you bring me a needle and thread or you bring a, what they call that thing, the sewing machine. I will stand and look at it like they, they looked at the writing on the wall. Now, as I'm speaking to you right now, there are professional kingdom-minded tailors around this nation and around the world sewing my clothes so that I will look smart. Make no mistake to think they are not in ministry. Are we together? As we are here right now, there are security people everywhere making sure there is maximum security within this location. All kinds of an intelligent, you know, sometimes when I see the security architecture that they design, I'm very, very humble at the intelligence at the highest level. The purpose of the training you are receiving here is because the gates of your assignment as far as its contribution to kingdom come is concerned is crying out for you for some of you you have remained in the temple for long the temple can become an idol more than the temple what you need is Jesus if your assignment is to go out there David if you are praying when Goliath is roaring Israel will die pray when you finish carry your weapons of war your destiny is to be a warrior that will later become a king another prophetess if you leave the temple because you think you need money and you go and start being mentored by joseph of arimathea jesus will not be able to come because the your, the intercessory ministry will be corrupted by this teaching tonight i brought three things to you number one that there needs to be a rearrangement of our understanding as far as God's prophetic program 
and the revival coming is concerned that it is not only the spiritual aspect or the aspect of we men of God that is needed in this revival and that we men of God alongside the entire body must embrace the diversity of the operation of the spirit that will synergize itself together to capture the move of God we will need money we will need people of influence to defend our interest we will need military people to protect us while we take the risk with our lives we will need those who feed us those who dress us we will need those who protect the policies that keep the purposes of God then we will need those on fire who will walk in signs and wonders lifting people from wheelchairs and crutches we will need people who teach a mentor and guide people we will need evangelists who will preach like never before that holistic description is the army God is looking for please rise up on your feet God is raising mighty men in this place God is raising people of power in this place God is raising man of fire in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till his church looks like him he won't stop no he won't stop till my life looks like him god is raising man of power in this place god is raising man of influence in this place god is raising signs and wonders in this place he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop no he won't stop two prayer points for this service and we're done prayer point number one father show me from scripture an individual whose destiny represents where you are taking me to go ahead and pray go ahead and pray find yourself in the scripture the bible says he found where it was written concerning him please pray and obtain grace from god reveal to me by the power of your word where it has been written concerning me that lo i come in the volume of the book elijah find yourself in scripture sarah find yourself in scripture joseph find yourself in scripture paul the writer of two-thirds of the new testament find yourself in scripture peter the chiefest of the apostles find yourself in scripture agabus find yourself in scripture abraham find yourself in scripture there is nothing god wants you to become that you will not find a parallel of it in scripture you will not go wrong when the word of God is guiding you please pray reveal the blueprint of my destiny by your word my contribution to this revival that Africa and even Nigeria is privileged to host in the name of Jesus final prayer point father grant me the grace to honor and to appreciate the diversities of assignments within the body of christ go ahead and pray the grace man of god don't look down on business people business people don't look down on preachers entrepreneurs don't look down on leaders all together we represent parts and pieces of that glorious army wealthy people don't look down on intercessors and they who are pegged at the altar carrying the burden of nations and praying for them father grant me the grace to stay in my place of assignment but to have that understanding and that appreciation for the diverse provisions that are resident within the body 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the time has come by the privilege of God's grace where an anointed man of God can stand here a businessman can stand here a politician kingdom minded politician can stand here royalty like his majesty can stand here a justice head of a you know the judiciary can stand here and all of us together can hold hands and believe we are doing the same thing for as long as preachers keep being exalted more than other people the people will leave their assignments to be preachers so that they can get the clap too when you clap for joshua selman clap for the kingdom minded justice clap for the businessman who in spite of the financial storm is still becoming a billionaire because the resources is what will keep joshua selman focused also clap for mama who is not educated but is raising five godly daughters are we together now oh yes don't clap for joshua selman and don't clap for mama those five daughters are the ones in the welfare department of his church and they are not stealing because mama trained them well the gentlemen who walk morning to night there was a father somewhere who did not pray in tongues but was sincere enough to raise them as responsible people threw away carelessness from their life now today they are the ones who are your heads of department and pastors don't clap and take glory for yourself let baba receive the share of his glory for disciplining and training those children can i tell you many people have taken away headache from us as men of god because they helped us now you don't have to suspect people and say you're a treasurer do you steal or you don't steal because somebody has trained them for you if you clap for joshua selman alone and demean and downplay other people simply because of the charismatism of ministry i'm not saying should not honor priesthood has its dimension of honor and i understand and whenever you do it and people do it across the globe i receive it with every sense of honor but i'm telling you this when i see people who have dimensions i do not have for instance when i meet with businessmen most times as they are greeting me ah my apostle i'm greeting them too god bless you sir and if i have the privilege of learning anything quickly i will not learn as apostle i will learn as a student by a king in an industry are we together when i have the opportunity to see an elderly person and i will greet her mama how are you oh man of god no mommy i'm a man of god but i'm your son too and she says really where i stop may you continue it's not a preacher that speaks that kind of blessing for you mm -mm. now you understand why we honor people in this house including our children you see those little children come and run we don't know you don't know how many trees can come out of a fruit you can guess how many fruits can come out from a tree these children you see as small as they are for some of them as soon as we share the grace that's when koinonia starts for them that jumping you see it is better for them to jump in the house of god some of you at their age you were still idol worshippers i'm not being sarcastic for these people to be praying in tongues while you are praying in tongues too what do you think they will become when they are your age the next time you see a little child or a little baby don't push them trying to see apostle we are both apostles it's only that one is manifesting earlier while the other is using my life to correct and work with greater accuracy are we together there are many people here who are younger ministers some of them come to me and you see me greet them and hug them some of them come and they want to lie down i said don't do that you can respect me but don't do that don't if there is anything we have is the privilege to have seen higher you may still be in your formative stage but we will pat you at the back when you make mistakes as much as god has shown us we will correct you 
but will help you because the little boy you see in a manger is the one who will save the earth after 30 years is someone learning you need to go back after this service madam go and meet your husband and say thank you I thought you were a stupid man but now I know you are a man of God too forgive me for that ignorance there are some of you who will never cook a nice meal respectfully speaking for your husband but if you hear that I'm coming to your house you will even kill a cow for only me to eat it no, it's not necessary it's not necessary that man God gave you is the one who gave the house that we can even come with honor parents don't look at this your children and while you are talking with Joshua Selman on phone and saying yes sir those little children they are the ones who will protect you in old age little children don't misbehave because you are learning nonsense from the internet are we together yes there are people at 11 they were already responsible on their own so please parents haven't encouraged you don't over pamper your children until they become a disaster to society if that stubborn child becomes a choir director he will do everything he did to his siblings in the choir. You will add headache to the church. Politicians, we love you. We keep praying that you love this country above corruption and love this country above sentiment. We will keep praying. Where God grants us the grace, we will talk to you. And to those of you who have brought yourselves under our leadership, we will, be, we will not be afraid to draw your ears in love and say, do it this way. But the body of Christ in Nigeria, the body of Christ in Africa, I have good news for you. We will win. It's been written. Forget what is happening in the church. One problem here, what? Forget it. I am telling you, it has been written. This revival you see will not be aborted. In the name of Jesus. We will not win because we are sufficient. Will win because the captain has risen and has stood before us and as we follow him even as we blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm upon his holy mountain we will see the move of the spirit in Africa like never before in the name of Jesus father tonight we have heard your word you have charged our hearts and helped us to see the value of submitting ourselves to the word to growth to the house of God to methodical and structural mentorship Lord I thank you for the blessings of these precious people you have given me in this place and global thank you for the gift of the body of Christ thank you for all other men of God you have planted in this nation that continue to help us to see where we don't see clearly Thank you for the diversities of the gifts. Thank you for the businessmen. Thank you for the politicians. Thank you for the judges. Thank you for the members of parliament. Thank you for the royalties. Thank you for the entrepreneurs. Thank you for the parents. Thank you for our force. Father, we pray that you give us as a nation, as regions, as individuals, a healthy orientation and an appreciation for the diversity of what you are doing in this body but lord we declare for revival we declare maranatha let it come for signs and wonders we declare let it come for breakthroughs and lifting we declare let it come for good and righteous governance we declare let it come for prosperity and increase we declare let it come for an end to terrorism, occultism, and oppression, we declare Maranatha. And Father, we pray that when you are assessing Africa and Nigeria, let it be by the privilege of God's grace that we did not miss out. As we return, oh God, I pray that we'll return with stronger convictions, making quality decisions that will help to reveal and glorify Jesus. For in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Give Jesus a big hand clap. God bless you. Hallelujah. You want to make Jesus Lord of your life this moment? 
haven't heard me speak you are saying apostle I know that I need Jesus listen to me remember the one you bow to is the giver of the crown in the first place and if he does not empower you you cannot be able to live for him I told you there is one thing that is common between the businessman the man of God the captain of industry Jesus for someone you came here to church and while I was speaking the Lord was speaking to you and telling you now let's minimize movement now is the time I want you to leave your seat right now as I count five I want you to come and stand before Jesus you are making a fresh decision you are rededicating your life come come there is a preacher in you you don't have to kneel please stand I have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead me I will go God bless you keep coming appreciate them as they come the shepherd of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead I will follow and I have made a choice that I will listen for your voice wherever you may be I will go come if you're coming please hurry up I pledge allegiance to the land with all my heart, with all I am, I will seek to honor His command. I pledge allegiance to the land. Brothers and sisters, thank you for making this decision. And for those who are joining us by way of the internet, you're joining us by way of television or the rebroadcast. The Lord speaking to you. It is a new season and he's calling you to a life of total surrender. He wants to make meaning out of your life, to bring beauty and glory out of your life. As I lead these precious ones to pray, may I request that you also join in the prayer to the end that ye be saved please those of you who are in front and all the overflows may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head to heaven as a sign of surrender just your right hand is fine say this after me lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you you have brought these ones to yourself i declare that based on the integrity of your word their sins are forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you the righteousness of god in christ i declare that you are bona fide recipients of the life of god and that you obtain the grace to stay and to remain in the faith i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life and i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit that you be grounded and established in righteousness you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray amen and amen god bless you congratulations for making this decision may i please request that you move to my right be very careful with the crane there are counselors waving the placard let's celebrate them as they go thank you thank you it's a new beginning for you hallelujah 
praise the name of the lord now just just to add one or two announcements thank you for your patience we're announcing that the public relations department the public relations department they are responsible for correspondences um is open here in abuja now hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching